Google Learn Your Way Tutorial and Review. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with Google Learn Your Way, which is a experimental tool that is designed by Google that can help you in creating imaginative content with the help of your own PDFs. No longer do you have to study long books for hours on end. Instead, Learn Your Way can simplify your learning. This transforms your content into dynamic and engaging, tailored for you. That is going to help you in visualizing your content and listening to your content and being able to understand content in multiple dimensions. Now, there is currently a waitlist for Google Learn Your Way. So you can just head on over into learn your way with google.com and then click on waitlist. Now, once you click on the waitlist over here, you will have a Google form and you're going to enter your information within this Google form like so. And you're going to describe, you're going to select what best describes you and what your intended use is going to be. If you agree to use this in accordance to its intended use and how comfortable you are with providing feedback, then you're going to understand the privacy policy in terms of service and then just click on submit. Once you do that, your response will be recorded. Now, in the meanwhile, you can click on try it now and try it now with some of the popular categories that they have already created. This content is used to demonstrate the powers of Learn Your Way provided by OpenStax. So let's say we want to go into history and we want to take a look at early human evolution and migration. You have two types of personalizations if you're an undergrad or if you're a middle schooler. So we are a undergrad and we're going to click on this over here. Once it processes the text, you guys can see first off, you're going to have immersive text and then you're going to have a question alongside each one of the text bits, which gives you an idea of how deep your learning is. You can see all of the content is going to be divided into these quick chapters and within these quick chapters, you're going to have the core ideas illustrated by AI. You guys can see that within the core ideas, you also have a quiz and every quiz is going to have a correct answer. You guys can see if I randomly select a quiz, it's not the right answer. Feel free to give it another shot. It's not the right answer. And we're just going to wait gets the right answer. So you guys can see this is the correct answer. After that, we're going to move on to the next question. And each, each quiz is going to have like three questions. Now you have four options of learning when it comes to Google Learn Your Way. First off, of course, we have our early PDF, which was our original source. Then we had this immersive text. Then we had slides and narration. So we can view this in the form of slides and narration, which can help us in learning in a more visual way. And you guys will see how the audio or voiceover also sounds very professional and easy to understand. I'll play this for you so you guys can also hear what this is going to sound like if you're uploading your own books. And welcome to our lesson on early human and spread across globe. We'll explore the key species that came to start. Let's think about a key term for this lesson. What comes to your mind when you hear the term? You might have thought about the idea that humans came from monkeys. So no, about it. This brings us to the core topic, human evolution. The chart you see here shows a timeline of different early human species found in various parts of Africa. It illustrates just how complex what is evolution in simple terms. It's a very slow process of change that happens over millions of years. This process is driven by accidental. Let's meet one of our most distant known ancestors, Australopithecus. This species lived in Eastern and Southern Africa, although they walked upright like us, despite these differences. So you guys can see the way that this sounds is really nice. The slides are very well made and easy to understand. Now let's play the audio lesson so you guys can hear what this sounds like as well, which can be great for learning on the go. If you're someone that likes to listen to podcasts, then you can simplify your learning into your podcast as well. So this has converted this PDF into a 29 minute lesson. Hello there, today we're going to fascinate a topic, early human evolution and migration. It's a journey through millions of years, but for climbing trees and brains about one third the size of it. Okay, so to clarify, Australopithecus was a genus, like a big family group of early hominins. They weren't humans in the way we think of ourselves, but they were the ancestors of humans. Think of it like a distant cousin who came before your direct grandparents. So they could walk upright, which was a big step, and probably use some simple tools. 
but they still had a lot of features similar to a like being quite hairy and having hands and arms good for climbing trees. And their brains were much smaller than ours. Does that help make the distinction clearer between Australopithecus and what we call? So this is what the audio lesson sounds like. And you guys can see they do have a little bit of a visual included with the audio lesson as well. Now, if we go into the mind map, this is the mind map and you can zoom in or zoom out. You guys will see a starting point and then you will see different breakdowns of the different elements. Then you guys can see understanding the past. Then we have all of these different elements over here. Then if I go into key ancestors, later human species, and then if I click on all of these elements, they have their own little pop-ups which are just going to help me in understanding all of the content and being able to visually see all of the content is a great help for a lot of learners. Now this is just the content that was already submitted. Obviously your own PDFs can be more complicated. Let's take a look at another PDF. So if we go into ancient Rome or let's go into something a bit different such as the theories of self-development. So I'm an undergrad, so we're going to go with the undergrad version. And you will see that if I go with the undergrad version, it's going to be slightly more detailed, whereas the version with the high schoolers in mind is going to be a bit more of a simplified view or a simplified narration. Now, you guys can see that we have different theories of development of self, you have different slides, psychological perspectives, as well as a lifelong journey, Eric Erickson's theory, then we have Jean Piaget, we have Harry Harlow, the need for social contact, then we have sociology versus psychology, vegetarianism, internal modifications, sociologist questions, social factors. Then we have activities to match the psychologist to their core idea. Then after that, we have the activities answers that can help us in understanding everything a bit deeper. Then we have Charles Cooley, the looking glass self, where we perceive others as we see us. Then we have taking the role of the other. Then we have the next theory, which is needs stages of development. And after that, we have another activity, then it fills out the activity. Then you guys can see the slides are very different than our first lesson because this lesson is very different. So it is truly a customized customized learning experience that you're going to get with Learn Your Way. And it's definitely something to be on the lookout for because this is going to simplify all of your studying needs. No longer do you have to spend hours and hours trying to finish a large book on one topic that is going to not be retained in your mind because all text looks the same. But when you have this imaginative way of learning, it's going to help you in retaining everything that you've learned. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next.